Oh, hey, I almost didn't see you there. My name is Smith. Thanks for tuning in. We're about to check. Che we're, <laughs> we're about to check out the game called Castleburn. Now, I've been playing this game for about two weeks or so, and I'm getting pretty good. So I figure now would be a good time to start to make a how to play video for some of you folks that want to play, but you're not sure quite how it all works out. So pay attention because I'm going to be going hopefully not too fast. All right. So, uh, well, this is just like the mm, menu sort of screen or whatever. You can see, obviously, you can check out your cards. You can see your ranking, your records, uh, you know, trophies, things like that. Now, down here, these guys have these question marks. These are like your achievements, and you can see they're pretty easy, and you get a reward for them. Um, and as you tap your heroes, they kind of interact with you, so that's neat. All right, let's look at the cards. So there's four types of cards, four. Uh, you have your hero card, you have your tier one cards, you have your tier two cards, and your tier three cards. Now, the difference is uh, the cost. You know, tier one cards are kind of low cost cards, and then of course, tier two gets a little ramped up, and then tier three are your big, heavy, hard hitters. And as you can see right off the top, uh, they kind of um, have some uh, similar looking uh, or, you know, like your typical um, type of game. Well, they have new characters, but, you know, there will be some that you recognize. As a matter of fact, I play a lot of Clash Royale. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I've been playing this game actually a lot more. Uh, but I am going to be kind of referencing back and forth to Clash Royale because uh, as far as for the lingo, because that's sort of the things I understand. So... Uh, you know, for instance, this Minotaur guy is similar to the P.E.K.K.A. in Clash Royale because obviously look at his health, 4,000, his damage, 1,500. Um, then of course they have things like the Goblins and uh, the Archers and the Viking, uh, you know. Um, so kind of taking the same sort of ideas as like Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, only they're putting their own twist to it and I like it so far. So this is where you would normally go in and do a battle, but since I'm explaining how to play the game, I'm actually gonna go to the practice mode. Now I'm going to go to normal, and I'm going to choose, uh, I wanna choose this hero. Now is this, am I gonna play, who am I gonna play as? Uh, okay, I think I chose the right hero. So Leon is this guy's Just name, and uh, he has a special ability which is to throw like a shield, an area shield around him and whoever is in his, uh, in his land. Now, uh, pay close attention. Right here, we have a mana sanctum. Now, I just built it on top of a mana spring and it's going to collect mana. And as you can see, my mana clicks up every two seconds or so you collect 10 mana but now with this extra mana spring i'm going to be collecting even more now what i want to do right away is go ahead and add in a troop it's going to cost 40 uh, mana to do that and it's going to take 10 seconds for him to be ready for me to deploy and uh, along with that i'm going to also uh, get this archer set up to go now you see that little hammer that little hammer that's moving down there next to where the archer is about to appear when she is ready, then it's my tower is going to switch to tier, tier 2. So it's going to be building here. When that unlocks, then I can have these other troops. Oh, something is happening here. All right, now it's time to defend. And I got to get my guy out of here. We got to do our abilities. And uh, they got more people coming. Let's get a couple of archers out here. Oh, I'm running out of space. Okay, um, another thing. So I have my uh, huts here. What are they called? Camps, my camps. So for each camp you build, you can house, uh, you can deploy 10 more troops. And so that's what I'm trying to do here. Let's go give them some pain, just like they're doing to us. I like to use the bridge here. I'm gonna put these archers on top of the bridge. And so that's kind of a different terrain. Someone would have to walk around in order to get to him. And now we're going to do some things for them. Now, since I'm at tier two, I'm going to... I got a lot of cool characters here. I think I'm going to 
do this one, and she's, uh, she's kind of like the royal giant. She can shoot from a distance, and I'm also going to use this girl, the sorceress. She is similar to the witch in uh, Clash Royale. All right, so now that we're doing some pretty good defenses, I'm going to go ahead and get another camp set up, as well as harvest another mana uh, sanctum. So they're still fighting my guy over here. I'm going to go ahead and give him some help. And we're going to send some goblins. All right. Now here's where the splash damage is going to come in. At. Uh, I'll wait until they get kind of set up. And then I'm going to put these nice little ladies out here. And we're going to wreck their souls. All right. Here we go. We're going to send these guys out. Kind of it's like a distraction. And here we go, splash damage. Oh my, they're falling all over the place. Now these troops, if you're interested, they're called like, they're, they're little mites with uh, armor and stuff. All right, now the best card I've gotten so far is the goblin tank. You're gonna see why. Um, now watch how I'm gonna have all this set up. And this thing right here is the arcane tower. It's kind of, let's just, uh, Let's check that out if you can. It's it's kind of like the um, what is it? What's the name of it? Oh, are we about to kill them? I mean, I wanted to show some more gameplay here. I mean, make this a little more difficult. The only thing this guy has put up is these little mousketeers. That's terrible. Uh, this deal right here is kind of like the um, what is it called? Uh, what's the name in Clash Royale? The one thing I hated. Uh. <laughs> Gosh, I can't remember. Oh, oh. You guys would probably know already. Um, all right. Well, here we come. It doesn't look like there's too much of a fight mana bat. Production oh, so we increased. get uh, double mana boost. And you see that this is just blowing them out of the way. Now, the mouser guys, whatever, I forget what they're called. Does it tell me here? No. Oops. Uh, they have... A shield, so they're kind of like those uh, those those skeletons with the shields in, in Clash Royale. That's what they're like. Uh, okay, check this out. I'm gonna send these Amazon girls out, and they're gonna go from a distance, breaking down what they have going on. Let's go ahead and put more camps here. And Kind of just deal with them. All right, we got more camps coming up. Now we have more space. Now the maximum space that you can put out is like a hundred. All right, now we're really going to get something going since we have a lot of mana, and we're going to get we're going to get a uh, a little something started. Use up all our mana. Use up all of our mana here. And we're going to send this guy out. And their castle... Oh, of course, you don't already know, the main objective is to get their castle to burn. So that's what we're trying to do here. And it looks to be working out to me. Last 30 seconds. Block them, block them, block them. There you go. So I hope I explained that all right. I know it was kind of all over the place. But uh, I think I want to get into a regular match here and maybe do some more strategy talking with you guys so let's go into the battle and uh i'm almost at uh the league the silver league actually it, it appears that i am there uh but the silver league is once you hit battle 600 starts. so this is a excuse me a different setup as you can tell uh and so my strategy is going to be a little different uh, what some people like to do, myself included, is do this, uh, like, goblin rush thing. Like, before you get, really, your whole thing set up, they like to just send a bunch of goblins your way and eat up everything and, you know, where you don't have enough time to defend. Uh, that's pretty effective, but not really on this map. Uh, the map that I was previously on is more effective because what I have to do here is I can't just place the mana, um you know the mana sanctums on top of a spring right away i have to actually place a camp and then the area that is going to open up will then allow me to do that 
Oh, I'm slipping here. Oh, what's this guy's name? The Shield Mouse. That was that little guy that they were trying to have compete against us. Now, you can also see there is buildings. So if you're that type of player, you can set up buildings to kind of, uh, you know, it's a good help day to with uh, oh, your defenses and stuff. Now, my, uh, my castle actually can defend itself, but not while it is in um, the mode uh, that it is currently in right now which is uh, building mode. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do some building myself. And while this is getting up there to tier, and I just wanna stay ready. I wanna stay ready. I, I would place this mana sanctum there, but what I wanna do is go ahead and I'm gonna do, like I said, a different strategy this time. I'm going to use I'm going to use this uh, Lupine Berserker. Uh, the Lupine Berserker is kind of like the Valkyrie. So he does splash damage. And I got the feeling. Let's see. What would be best here? The Rifle Guys or the Sorcerer? The Sorcerer is pretty good as far as doing splash damage herself. Now, I'm sure our buddy up here is got a lot of stuff going on so we want to make sure that we're not caught slipping per se go ahead and place that there i also want to get her and then when we upgrade to tier three i'll have one more deal so we're going to be ready to defend that's probably what's about to happen here and i'm pretty sure that they're building on the other side i just at this point i don't really want to send anybody over there because i know how these things can go Right when I place this is probably when it's going to start going down. So I'm going to wait until I can go ahead and get my goblin tank set up. I'm pretty sure our guy Views23 is about to unleash something. Tier 3 upgrade complete. All right, we're pretty much ready to go. So let's do that. And here they come. Like I said, are you surprised at all? Oh, you electric this. Guess what? Make way. I got a lot of things too. Let's Goblins. Goblins coming. Alright. Let's see how this plays out. So we're doing pretty good so far. Send a Amazon over here to help kind of take down their camp. This is looking pretty good so far. And I haven't even used my ability. Now, see, the strategy there was to have run two different operations. So, they're not doing that good. And now, we're going to just shield everyone, goblins included, and just take down their, their, their castle. And that was it. And that's going to put us in the 600 uh, ranking. Victory. Uh, almost. Almost. Next one is going to be 800. So almost. Oh, let me show you guys something cool. Something cool that I like about this. When you were, when you go to your records here, uh, okay, it shows you what I've done. But you can also look at your statistics. So I can see like the mana collected, how many buildings were built uh, at certain points in the game where things went, you know, good or bad. And I think that's pretty cool if you really like to study gameplay and stuff like that. But hey, check it out, guys. That is it for this video. I just wanted to pop in and show you how to play the game so you can play along with me. Download it. It's free. Um, check out some more of my videos. They're going to be coming really soon. Really, really, really soon. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. Let me know who you are. Maybe we'll see each other in the battlefield. But until then, peace out, guys.